I, I think it, it's a good thing that he's doing just on the wrong purpose and, and timing. You know, I think uh, uh, I think going against ADCC is, is going against 20 and some years of something that actually gave him the platform to do what he's doing. You know, he took very personal something that uh, I understand that, you know, you know, Mo has promoted and doing things with this, but the ADCC is still the world championships of grappling. You know what I mean? He's still, it's like IBJJF. So basically what he's doing is, is if I would have gone and put a tournament the same day as the IBJJF world championships and I just have a shitload of money and that's what I'm doing, right? Um, I think what he brought, it's a, it's a great thing in a sense of like, hey, let's open up the books, right? Let's, let's make something a little more clear, all right? Because sometimes you negotiate with some, you know, with some people and say, oh, but you don't, you don't have viewers. I'm like, well, let me, let me see the numbers, you know, let's, let's open up with that, all right? I do understand that maybe ADCC could have maybe, you know, less production, maybe more money to the athletes, but ADCC has always treated the athletes right. You know, this is something that, um, you know, I think this is not correct to say. I understand that maybe the pay could be a little bit better, but the approach that was taken to the show was to make a bigger show, right? Like, let's make this the greatest event in the world, but it's still a world championship. Like, look at Worlds. You pay to compete the Worlds. You make money in the end. It makes no difference. You are still a world champion. So I think he's hurting what a lot of people have fought and, and, and wanted to do. You know what I mean? And, and and I understand some, you know, even one of my athletes, he decided to go. Maybe I would have taken that shot. You know, um, Victor Hugo is a big draw. And I think if he does pay a million dollars, is a million dollars. Um, Such a, you know so what much mean? money it can, in that. It can change but I just think the way that it's been doing is something that I do not agree. I'm not, I'm not behind at all. You know what I mean? Like I said, he could have done a week later, uh, whatever, two weeks later, a month later, and set up a standard and make that. A, and I think he would, he would even benefit more if he has done after because he would have more world champions. You know what I mean? he would have got the track that this event would have brought, you know, the, the whole thing. And then it say, guys, understand you want to be a world champion, but these are the things we should be going. You know, I think we would have a better way to do it. And I cannot go behind the, 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 the strategy behind it. You know, like I said, I don't know. We don't know if this thing is going to continue, uh, Craig Jones has no history of doing anything in the sport as far as organizing. Uh, it's very easy if you have a, a guy behind you that has a couple million dollars to waste. That That's basically what it is, right? And then if you look at ECC, um, I'm a business owner, right? So if I am doing business, the least I can do with business is profit from it, right? So let's put it this way, right? I cannot just go and lose money because, oh, yeah, let's pay the fighters because they deserve. I get it. We all deserve. Yeah. I've been there. I competed for 30 years of my life, and guess what? I probably spent over $2 million in all my competitions and everything, and I, and I didn't make that money, you know, because I paved the way to ADCC to be where it is right now. I didn't compete in this. Well, the first ADCC was because I was 10 grand, yes. But after that, because I wanted to be a champion. I wanted to prove myself as a badass motherfucker, you know? And that was the point of it, you know? But now, it, yeah. it is a business. So let's put the perspective of the production, right? Let's see 2017, 2019, which I bitched the mode that the tournament looked like shit. And, and he tried to make a better looking event. I, I 100% think that he probably have lost money on those events. Guess what? Maybe this one, finally, I made some money. But at least, you know, the production was amazing. He set a standard. It's a show. Well, go win an Olympics. 
you'll make no money in the Olympics. You'll make no money in anything. And also, just like a like a way to think, Jiu-Jitsu people are pretty spoiled, you know, in a sense of like, of like we have a, such a rich industry, right? Compared to mixed martial arts, compared to judo, karate, anything. After boxing is grappling as as the as as as, as an opportunity in the combat sports. Maybe now bare knuckle. How many millionaire judokas do you see? Yeah. Zero. Karate, zero. Wrestling, zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't sell a wrestling DVD to make money off of BGG fanatics. You don't go to a wrestling competition to make 10 grand. You don't do that. You know, because any and, and and it is a rich industry. Like, don't get me wrong. The, like, if you look at the wrestling, NCAA, it's a, it's a very rich sport where the colleges are behind it. You have people that graduate on whatever Penn State that donate millions of dollars. You know what I mean? There's a there's a bit of pride behind that. You know what I mean? And I think with jujitsu, I don't know where this came from. Where, again, this is just a perspective. I I really appreciate everyone makes a little bit of money. You know what I mean? But, you know, you see blue belts make money. You know what I mean? You see blue belts, people with like two years of jiu-jitsu going to Abu Dhabi and make $1,000 in a tournament and become a world champion in, in Abu Dhabi. You see kids, you know, being sponsored by these, these, these big companies and, and flying for free. So, like I said, when I look to other sports and look at jiu-jitsu, I think we're doing we're doing okay. You know, yeah. we're doing very good in comparison to other people. Go be a blue belt in karate. <laughs> do you think um, with the athletes that are going to go over to Craig's, do you think ADCC will hold a bit of a grudge? Because my worry is that they'll do it for one year. All these guys will go over and then next year, they'll when they put the invites out, they'll just say, you can get fucked. You can go and compete. Like you're going to have to win trials to get there. Do you think they'll do that to everyone? Um, it could, it could, it could be, um, I think, um, I think it, I, you have to win shit to get invited. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I think, I don't know, as far as I know, what I know about, about, you know, the, the team, uh, right now it's Mo. I'm not sure if he's going to do it again and whoever does it. Uh, I don't think so. I think they should just. I, I'm always – the thing about me, man, in my whole life in martial arts, I never come from a place of scarcity. I'm never going to do something to somebody just because they don't to me. You know what I mean? Um, I think people take their decisions uh, based on – like even I had an argument with this friend uh, over, 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 over Instagram – like, oh, loyalty. Da, 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 da. I say, look, what do you know about people's life where maybe they prefer guaranteed $10,000 and a chance to win a million dollars, right? Um, maybe I would have a different approach on it. Depends on my position on the sport. Um, but I can't, like, like when Victor Hugo made a decision to go, right? I can't tell him, hey, no, go stay. I'm like, look, man. 260 fucking 260 pounds, you're a big draw. But that, that could be consequences. You might just have to compete in a trial to get to the next event. You know, and I think it will be fair. Hey, you want to go in? I invited you. You 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 actually make the tournament look shitty. Go in a trial. You know what I mean? And I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Ah, you want to come in again? You were up my list. You know what I mean? And now you just went to an event that it's a non-existent event. Nobody knows about it, but he walks around with a million dollars in cash. So that 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 says something, right? We don't know where that money come from. We don't know what the IRS is going to do with that. I don't know if they're <laughs> yeah. competing, the FBI is going <laughs> to walk in and this money for coming from a big, you know, Russian, you know, Middle Eastern mafia. We don't know. You know what I mean? So... 
shady business for shady business. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine you know that I mean? fucking happens though. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Like fucking hell, it was just from some dodgy fucking some mafia guy, some Russian oligarch. <laughs> yeah, like I think when you when you when you have you know, imagine if a guy gives me five million dollars. Hey, Sean, you do a tournament. I'm going to sit down like I know everything. Yeah, for the fighters. Yeah, let's do this. But my only problem is that ACC started as, you know, a show for the Sheiks in, in Abu Dhabi. And it turned out to be the biggest grappling event in the world. It's the world championships of grappling, right? Regardless of... Uh, Mo, regardless of how they use Gordon Ryan uh, for the for the things, regardless of that, I tell people you want to talk shit about Gordon, go beat him, you know, and that and that has always been my, my mantra, right? You know, you just gotta accept that the guy draws some people. Some people love or hate him. They dare to watch him. He's a great fighter. He brings people in. Yeah, today's his time. Tomorrow it isn't. Tomorrow someone else. You know what I mean? But at least. We use some leverage to certain things to bring this sport to where it is, you know, and, and it's great, you know, that, that, that the tournament was supposed to be amazing. And I'm feeling hurt because I'm a Hall of Fame of the DCC and I was supposed to like, yeah, put my my suit on and and have all this. Now I feel like my speech want to be all different. You know what I mean? Yeah, guys, you know, I'm here getting my Hall of Fame, but, you know, there's a lot of bullshit going on. It's a fucking sucks for this sport today, but it is what it is. At least you are gonna have a millionaire. You know what I mean? Like it just it just hinders. And then um, and now what about fifteen thousand people that bought tickets? Like you know what I mean? Oh yeah, the athletes. I'm like yeah. What about people that have spent two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, five thousand dollars to make a trip to Las Vegas to a show that they're not watching anymore? You know what I mean? I don't even know if I'm the subject anymore here. You know, <laughs> yeah. went on and on. So I think those things, um, you know, they really, they really, they really hinders it. And 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 like I said, I just don't like the strategy behind it. You know, mm-hmm. I think I think he could have allowing people to be world champions and 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 not creating this 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 decision that can hinder people's careers more than make it. You know, as far as I know. Three people gonna benefit from all of this, maybe four: mm. Gabby Garcia, mm-hmm. Craig Jones, and whoever makes a million dollars. I think, in a in a in a way, everyone else is losing. Yeah, yeah. No, some really good points there, mate. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. I hope does great. Yeah. Every year, two times a year, we have a jiu-jitsu millionaire. Fucking awesome! Take me to dinner. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> I do hope, like I said, my only thing is how he's tried to prove a point. Mm, yeah. And, and it makes me feel that we all pawns in a game. Mm. That we don't know really what's behind because there's no history behind. And that's the problem. That's my problem. But great. Next time I have to deal with full grappling, with a thing, I got my fight A. Let me see the metrics. Why don't you want to be clear about it? Great. He brought a really good thing. But the only free cheese, brother, is the mouse trap. You got to remember that. It's so easy to get a metric when you have free on YouTube. You know, you could see people, you could literally have 15,000 people watching this to see on their phones, be on YouTube, watching the other show, which is okay. It's so easy when everything is free, you know what I mean? But now when you have to invest on it for the business, for whatever that is, then it's a different story. Then we see who really, really is willing to support something, you know? So there's always a way to think about it, you know? Mm, yeah, I guess time will time will show us. Time will show us, yeah. yeah.